In this video, I wanna show you how to release the clutch when we're changing gears. What's up, Rad family? I'm Dakota Freeman, and welcome to the Rad Adventure Dude channel. Today's video is gonna be very important because we're gonna learn how to use our clutch and release it as we're changing our gears. There's gonna be a couple of different ways that we do this, and that's what's gonna make this so important. So the first thing that we're gonna to have to do whenever we start using our clutch and changing our gears is, is gonna to be to first put the dirt bike in first gear and get it rolling into motion. When we do this, we're gonna to have to actually release the clutch with the throttle simultaneously to actually get the bike going into motion. It's just like a manual car. If you let the clutch out without the throttle, the dirt bike, just like a manual car, is gonna stall. So we have to use the clutch with the throttle to get the bike rolling into motion. The way we do this is gonna to be to actually release the clutch very nice and slowly. We're gonna feel a point where as we're releasing our clutch, it's gonna actually want to start rolling. And at that point, we wanna add just the slightest bit of throttle while we're still continually releasing the clutch nice and slowly. You don't wanna hit a point where you actually just let the clutch out all the way. However, you want to slowly release the clutch, feel the point of motion that the bike wants to start moving forward, then use the throttle to just slightly add a little throttle and just raise the RPMs a little bit. So then you can continue releasing the clutch, getting the bike rolling faster until you've released it completely. And that point you can then get off the throttle to slow down or add more throttle to actually go faster. So work on this at the beginning of your riding because you're gonna have to do this every single time you start rolling on your dirt bike. And releasing the clutch at this point is gonna be very slow until we get better at it and more confident with this. So as we're gonna do this for the first time, we wanna just make sure that we pull in our clutch and that we put the bike down in first gear. We're then gonna slowly release it until we feel the bike rolling forward, where we will then add a little bit of throttle. We're gonna to continue to slowly release that clutch until it's completely released and that we have that little bit of throttle still on. Once we're now rolling, the back wheel is the main key factor here because as the back wheel is rolling, the bike's not gonna stall. However, if the back wheel's not turning fast enough and we do release the clutch without the proper RPM level with the throttle, that's what's actually gonna stall the dirt bike. So once you get that back wheel rolling into motion, then you can actually release the clutch all the way to where it's not gonna stall as you're letting that clutch out. Is this video already helping you? Make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video. So now that we're rolling into motion on our dirt bike and we're ready to actually shift up into second gear, we're gonna have to go through this again However, this is actually gonna be a much easier process and you can go through it much faster with the clutch and the throttle since our rear wheel is spinning and I'll explain that now. So, now that we're in first gear and we're rolling and we've used the throttle and the RPMs are climbing and we're ready to shift into second gear, you want to then release the throttle, you're gonna pull in the clutch and then shift up using your gear shifter into second gear. At this point, since you're rolling and your back wheel is spinning, you do not have to worry about slowly releasing the clutch anymore. You can actually just pop the clutch back out and then get back on the throttle as you need it. So when you're changing your gears, the way you release your clutch is actually gonna be different from if you're just starting out or if you're rolling. So take that into account as you're riding because you don't have to then slowly release it and you can actually just get off the throttle, get pull in your clutch, shift up into second gear, and now just let the clutch back out and then reapply your throttle. And you can see how much faster this is gonna make it for you as you're going through this process, which is gonna make it easier as you're riding on your dirt bike, especially when learning. And you actually don't wanna have the throttle on as you're actually releasing that clutch because that's gonna to wanna to pop the front wheel up and do a wheelie. So we really wanna focus on once we've shifted into that second gear, just let the clutch out and then get back on your throttle. 
And you can continue doing this as you continue climbing up through the gears, but just think about your rear wheel and how it's spinning before you let that clutch out. Because if you're in a corner where you've actually brought the bike to a slower speed and you do this and you're in a higher gear where the rear wheel has slowed down, you're gonna wanna start to downshift so that way if you do just let the clutch out like this, it doesn't stall out. So knowing what gear you're in is going to be a very important part of this as well because the higher gear you're in, the faster your rear wheel needs to be spinning before you can just release the clutch. And the lower gear you're in, it's not going to matter quite as much. And I know this is a lot to think about at the, at the beginning because there's so many different tips and techniques about using the clutch, the gears, there's a lot of controls going on. But I promise if you just keep working on this and thinking about it, it's going to become so much easier for you. So whenever you release your clutch when changing gears, just think about your rear wheel, how fast it's spinning, and what gear you're in. And that's just going to make sure you know what to do to where you don't stall your dirt bike. And the same is going to apply for downshifting. So we can actually go through the same procedure. However, we're going to release the throttle. We're going to pull in our clutch. We're then going to downshift with our gear shifter. And then we can just release the clutch right back out and then either apply your throttle or brakes depending on your situation. So you don't have to think about slowly releasing this clutch every single time once you get rolling and that's going to make it so much easier for you. Rad family, I'm so proud of you for taking this step into becoming a better dirt bike rider and really diving into all these tips, techniques that are going to help you improve to a much better and safer level. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video, and drop some comments down below if you have any questions. If you're still looking for more dirt bike riding tips, I'm always here. I've made a full dirt bike riding course over on my website and it'll walk you through being a complete beginner and take you to an advanced rider mastering the tracks and trails. I also give away a free dirt bike guide. All you have to do is sign up on my website and I'll send it straight to you. Make sure you click the subscribe button that's right here and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future dirt bike riding tips. After that, you can watch my next video right here. Stay rad, and I'll see you over there.